long time no see i don't even remember if i still know how to vlog i feel so awkward vlogging again but it has been about three weeks since my last update or upload and um we have been very very busy with the moving and unpacking and stuff like that but um i decided just spontaneously I decided I wanted to show you guys around the new house now. I wouldn't do it now if I if I wait for it to get nicely organized and clean and stuff like that. The tour will happen probably next year because I still have a whole bunch to unpack. So I hope you guys don't judge me if you see the house is super duper duper messy. That's just me. I'm in the process of um, putting stuff away. So I hope you guys enjoy the tour of our new house. Here you go. Okay, guys. So this is the front of the house. We have a three-car garage. Looks like two, but there's actually two spaces on that side and one space on that one. And there's my car and my silly daughter. And we are going to go across the street and take a look inside. This home is occupied. Let's go. I love that we have a little walkway right here. And there's little pillars right here. Are they called pillars? Posts? Whatever you call them. Makes it feel so fancy. So, close the door. So we're gonna go in now. Don't show the passcode. How do you open? Okay, so we are Home. in the house now. As you go in, you're gonna see a very wide entryway right here. I'm gonna take you to the left of the front door when you go in. If you make a left, you are going to see, you are going to see a room. This is an extra guest bedroom. And it's creepy. There's a the closet right there. Yes, I'm in the corner, and we're going to go out, and across from that is a sitting area. It's not done yet, guys, so we're still settling in, so we're going to put a little rug right there and a little entertainment stand right here. There's the couch, and there's Carlin watching TV. She just got out of school. And then we're gonna go back to the entryway. I'm right by the door, front door again. That's the room that you guys saw earlier. And this, hold on. And this is the shoe thing. The shoe stand right here. We keep our shoes there. We have more in the garage. Here you go. And then, sorry for that mess. Like I said, we just moved last week. So a whole bunch of boxes to unpack. This is supposed to be a coat closet. But the kids treat it like their, their play area. They it's actually... Our play area. You said it could be our play area. They actually... Take it over. Call it headquarters. But here it is. There's more room right there. And I guess this is their school because Claren <laughs> has a little calendars calendar there. Yeah. For Rizo, I guess. Yeah. She and is Rizo's teacher. Let us get out now. <laughs> oh. Across from the headquarters is the bathroom. This bathroom has a shower 
inside of it. There you go. So if we have visitors, they can shower here. Or like my grandma, who's like 94, she doesn't have to go upstairs to take a shower. She can actually just shower here. Hi, guys. Alrighty. Just the headquarters. We're getting out of the bathroom. So now, when you get out of the bathroom, obviously I showed you guys the stairs. But we're going to go there later. I'm going to show you the living room. Here's our living room. Ouch. Owie, that hit me. Here's our living room. There's that fireplace, our TV, and our um, built-in storage there. Those be there forever. That's just there temporarily. So you can see we still have our old area rug and our old couches. I mean, we didn't need to buy we don't need to buy new couches because these are still nice and pretty sturdy. They're like 15 years old. So there's the living room. And then I'm going to turn you guys around slowly, slowly. We don't have any more vaulted ceilings. So that's not bad. There's our sliding door to the backyard. We're gonna have somebody build a deck for us here in a couple of weeks. So I can't wait for that. It's gonna be fun to hang out outside in the summer. Turning it around still. And you are gonna see the kitchen and the dining area. And then the butler's pantry, which actually I'm not gonna use as a butler's pantry. I'm going to use it as like a bar or something and a storage. There's the kitchen. Um, this is still our old dining table and our old dining chairs. There you go. And on here, this area right here is still like the mess catcher basically everything that doesn't have a space still goes there like that box i don't even know what what's in that box but yeah all these four drawers right here they're basically all our junk drawers because we still don't know what goes where see what i mean yeah they're all just drawers for a whole bunch of different things yep that's that nothing interesting let's go to the kitchen like i said guys don't judge we just moved so a whole bunch of stuff so as you can see i have a lot of storage area in this kitchen <coughs> and a big island which i love 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 so i can't wait to bake and cook here which i think i, I actually did actually what all right i love my sink sorry i haven't done the dishes yet but i love my sink it's really big and that ba bamboo plant was given to me by a friend there's all the counter spaces look at all the storage that i have it's pretty awesome and i have a gas grill now it actually took me a little bit to get used to cooking and turning on the gas um gas stove actually but now i'm okay with it so there you go if you guys want a video of how i organize the kitchen what i put in all of the drawers and the cabinets let me know in the comments down below and i will work on that <coughs> this is the pantry it is a lot bigger than my old pantry here you go isn't that awesome 
still have to organize it. I kind of semi-organize it, but I'm still not happy with it. So, go. Turn around. This is my coffee bar. I made that for our open house last year, and I still have yet to change it to something about coffee. But I have my Keurig right there. I have this little um, thingy. And I have my syrups right there. As you can see, I, if you can hear me, I am losing my voice, like I said. We have our cough medicine and our allergy medicine here. There you go. And the refrigerator. There you go. So that is my new kitchen guys i am so happy okay so over here right here supposed to be coat closet but i turned it into like the cleaning supplies closet so i have yet i still have yet to add shelves to it and so it's just a big circle, you guys. Here's the sitting room again. And then there goes the front door. I'm gonna show you guys, turn you around. I am going to show you guys the garage. We're not gonna go in there. I mean, okay, fine, we are. <clears throat> Here is the garage. And if we get out of here, it's a three-car garage, but I never park in the garage unless Rex does the parking. It goes all the way over there. So there's one car, second car, and third car right here. Let's go back. Oops. We're going to go upstairs now. Let's go. I've been waiting for this. Yeah. It's been up on my mind. We are upstairs. Um, when you get upstairs, there's this room to your right. We call it we call this the bonus room. There's a TV right there again. And then, nothing's organized yet, guys. My mom was ironing last night, so that's there. And I had her hang some clothes, so it's still there. That's not going to be there. Oh my goodness, you guys, I am so not fit. I am running out of breath. But basically, this is the bonus room. It'll mainly be like a TV room up here. I'm gonna put a fridge in here and then like a popcorn stand or something, but still have yet to plan everything. So there you go. And then the room next to it is the guest room. There's still nothing in here, but this is like the second guest room. There's a closet right there. So we're getting out, turning left. There's a long hallway right here. And this is something that I didn't have on my old house. A linen closet. It's super duper organized right now, but who knows how long that'll last. Hopefully I could keep it that way. But honestly guys, I didn't know I have that much blankets and pillowcases all right so let's go down the hallway to the right is guess whose room the baby boy's room rizo not fully decorated yet but you can tell that it's a boy's room there's his pirate pillow his old dresser his clothes are hung. There you go. That is Rizo's room. 
That's his train table. I plan on keeping all of their toys in their rooms. No more toys all over the house. And then next to his room is the bathroom. It's a pretty big bathroom, guys. I don't even know what that is doing there, but another box. So here is their towel stand. Their washcloths and their bath towels are in here. So they don't have to mess up the linen closet where I put the towels. So there's the shower. I still need to put a shower curtain there because I couldn't find the shower rings. So that's why. Those are Rizo's baby pictures. Go towel bar. Double sink for the kiddos. And matching step stools for them. And then right here is the throne. See that? That's water. You use water to wash your butt when you poop. That's the Filipino style. Nice and clean butt. TMI, but that's how you should do it. Let's get out of the bathroom. This door right here is the laundry room. If you guys remember, I only had a laundry closet in my old house. So you guys don't know how happy I was to be able to have my own laundry room. Yep. This is my new washer. And believe it or not, I have this little grabber because I cannot grab down there. I feel like I'm going to fall head first and never get out if I try to grab it, but that's that. Let's get out, and we're going to go to this room. This is a girl's room. There you go. Very girly. I got that nightstand for free, which is awesome, of course. There, there's her, her clothes. You guys, she has so many toys that are unopened. It's like crazy. All right, there you go. That is the kids' rooms. We're getting out now. So you see the whole upstairs, Clarlin's room, laundry room, bathroom right there, and Rizo's room. Now I'm walking backwards and headed to the master bedroom. There's the linen closet that I showed you earlier. So now we're gonna go to the master. Okay guys, so here's the master bedroom. Right there. I tried my best to put things away as fast as I can, but as you can see, the bed is nicely made. Uh, crooked. This one's longer than that one, but oh well. And as you can see, our fancy little um, makeshift nightstands. They're diaper boxes. That's my side. And here is Rex's makeshift nightstand. It's a sewing machine box. If you don't call that cool, then what do you call it? Then there is Rizo Donovan. All right. So there's the whole master. And I also like how we have double doors here. There you go. So I'll show you a quick sweep of the room. Oh my goodness, guys, it's snowing. What? Oh well. It is snowing, baby. Oh, I'll check in my window. Okay, go check. So, there's the Rex's office-ish. Still need to organize that. Here is the bathroom. Oh, 
Here's Rex's sink, the tub, and my sink. Which one's the cleaner sink? His or hers? Of course, that one. That's why that's his sink. So everybody can see it from here and not that. So I'm going to turn around, there's a shower, and there is the toilet. And then, let's head to this room. This is the closet, the, the walk-in closet. So, it's divided into two. This one is Rex's side, right here. And then the other side is mine still messy super messy but it's in the process of getting fixed just give me some time guys give me some time all right we're getting out of here getting out of that let's turn off the lights okay getting out there you go guys so i hope you guys enjoy that tour house i am sorry that everything is still a mess it's so still so so messy in this house um we have been here since january 22nd and we have been um unpacking since then if you saw the garage we still have to deal with all that stuff so it'll take a while baby steps i mean this will be our forever home, so I'm in no rush to organize things, and we are still trying to um, fix the house um, in the way that it'll work for us. It is a dream come true to be in a house like this, so I'm really, really grateful and very, very thankful for all the blessings that we have received so far and words are not enough to express how grateful i am um so yeah i hope you guys like the video and i hope you guys like and subscribe and like join me and help me organize this place and turn it into our new forever home Thank you guys for watching. Bye.